Good evening, I'm Alex Loroff. Another blow to the Biden White House today. The president's plan to wipe away student loan debt for millions is deemed unconstitutional. Madeline Rivera reports from Washington. After nearly a year of legal limbo, the Supreme Court ruled Friday student borrowers are back on the hook. The Supreme Court gutting President Joe Biden's plan to forgive more than $400 billion in student loan debt. We are here for President Biden to keep his promise. The privilege it is for you to be here to tell somebody to pay their bills. A group of six Republican states and two borrowers sued, saying the administration overstepped when it tried to wipe out up to $20,000 in debt for borrowers. The court sided with them, arguing the White House did not have the authority to move forward with the program without congressional approval. Chief Justice John Roberts writing in the majority opinion, it would be odd to think that separation of powers concerns evaporate simply because the government is providing monetary benefits rather than imposing obligations. This is a big defeat for executive overreach. The White House was relying on a 9-11 era law called the HEROES Act that allows the Secretary of Education to waive or modify loans during emergencies. In this case, the coronavirus pandemic. The Republicans snatched away the hope that it was, they were given, and it's real. Republicans call the Biden plan a political stunt designed to win over young voters. It's about pandering, absolutely. Buying up as many votes as you can. Activists, meanwhile, are already looking at new ways to make higher ed more affordable. Justice is free college. In response to these recent decisions, some Democrats are calling for term limits for Supreme Court justices. In Washington, Mather Rivera, Fox News. The Jackson